Hey guys, this is a little update on my uh, thing made for my uh, my bench I made for my chop saw. These are the support brackets for the wood. And my son was saying, hey, you know, rather than hitting this, having to pick up and come over, why don't you just cut it down to actually glide right across. So bring it up against here. We're going to score right here on this side and on this side. All right, we're going to put it on this side over here. And we're going to score on this side and this side. We're going to have to hand saw those, okay, uh, going down this way because we can't. I don't want to take it apart. It's all nailed together. And we're going to do the same thing to the other one as match that. And then uh, after that, and I'm going to cut on the right side of the line. So, so uh, we have if we cut on the line or below the line, we're going to hit this guy here. So we're going to cut just above so we have some clearance. And uh, check this out. Uh, it clears right there. Yeah, actually, with some uh, some room. Okay, right there, but then uh, because this board is not level, it rises here and then drops off. So uh, so what I would do is, um, and what I'm doing with the other one over here, go to the highest point right here, and with your pencil, okay, score it, not down, not down like this, but up like this, and draw the line across, okay, all right up high so it has definitely cleared that and that's what I did on this side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down and do it so it's, I'm glad I'm doing this rather than you finding out alright so uh, let me finish up the other one I gotta uh, probably sand that down all the way or something uh, I don't know uh, it would be useless to uh, saw that little piece off uh, alright so um, do it the right way bring it up and I can tell right now that's higher than this one so I'm probably going to go with that side over there when I'm cutting, when I'm sawing. Now this is always a nice little tool to make a straight line. Now what you could do is you could take your uh, your finger, put your nail right where the edge is, uh, and your point right there, and you can come over and come down right here and make sure you're clearing all the way across. It looks like we have a quarter inch above. So that's really good. You want to do it to both sides, but I know both my sides are about the same. So, uh, so that means it's going to be a good cut. Uh, down here I started, okay, I might want to, on the other side I'll, I'll uh, cut and bring it, uh, it looks like it's going to clear right there. So that looks like it's going to clear. There you are. They both clear. Okay, no click on afterwards, but boy, I'll tell you what, it comes close right there. Alright, and then uh, here's the other one. And it's well cleared. So I would say about an inch and a half, uh, maybe an inch and three quarters off of, uh, off of it on the other side. It's probably close enough. This is well cleared. All right, and uh, it'll clear the other one too. Um, so I'm going to put the little note on the original video uh, to go ahead and, um, and uh, make these a little shorter. I'm going to measure these out and put them on another one that just, to, just so you know it's done right the first time. So sorry about that guys, but I think it's really a good idea my son came up with and, uh, and uh, doing this. So hopefully it helps you out.